Alright then. Back to hunt more Geth. Yay! Death to the Geth. Now that's mean. They're just robots. Or something. I just hunt the prime. Uh, of course you did. I'm pretty sure we searched every other planet here, so. Oh, so you're right. You get the end of time. The destruction to the gate. Does this unit have a soul? Mm, I don't know. Good question. Questions for later, probably. Maybe. Matter. Mercury. Iridium. You know, finding all this stuff's a lot easier than it is in later games, because all I gotta do is click one button, you found it. Huh. How is it in all the... Uh, you'll see. Fair enough. Oh, come on, can't one of you... Ha can't, can't, can't one of y'all be matriarched in on August last writing? Come on. <laughs> oh boy, another cold planet! It's also probably not quite as bad as having to go around on the planet scanning everything. Andromeda! <coughs> yeah, but it's the handling of the vehicle that's bad in Andromeda. The terrain isn't as bad, so it's hard to say. The fact that the vehicle is unarmed pisses me off beyond belief, though, so... Yeah, that sounds annoying, having to just get out to fight, get in, get out, get in. Blah, thresher. In between me and the only anomaly. I, I haven't even seen it and I can already tell how bad of an idea that is. Mm-hmm. Immunity. Huh. So you lose less damn health when you are hit. That's probably useful. Maybe. And yet... That's Caden is probably the closest thing you have to a team, me team medic. Even though when we first met her, I thought that the other human was the medic because of how the animal looked. Oh, Ash, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Do I have any uh, Phoenix armor in my. Yeah, I do. Phoenix details. Well, considering it's made by Serta, which is a biomedical form, uh, firm. So it is actually supposed to be medical. <laughs> Pretty much. She just happened to be wearing that one in particular. They just decided to give her that for some reason. I guess because, you know, most, most others probably would never wear it, and it makes her, her a bit more iconic. Hmm. We should probably check out that uh, vendor who's supposed to sell all the uh, um, on the Citadel. All, yeah, all of the. Um... Hello. One of the super high tier shit. All the iconic stuff. Oh, yeah. That one was heavy. I cannot detect your vehicle is really warm there. Yeah, no shit. Shit, 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 because it probably works the same as the kinetic armor in... Kinetic barriers, yeah. yeah. That's all a shield is in, in this universe. Yeah, kind of. Well, good to know Threshers are equal opportunity hunters. Mm-hmm. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Maw. At least they got what was coming to them. To be fair, they're so huge, they might not even be able to distinguish this use. They probably don't... Well, I mean, they're non-sapient. They don't care. Also that. All they like is stretching. I mean, again, it attacks a tank. Yeah. Lothian... Oh boy, what are we gonna find here? 
Excellent question. Excellent answer this one. Protein data disk. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, I mean it was technically protected by the treasure man. Okay. Time to go robot hunting. <laughs> this thing does have good range. Indeed. We've seen some of that good range before in fact. Yep. Usually in, the, in some of those linear pathways that go winding up and down. Yeah, over in Novaria. And yeah, it has good range. Far enough that its yeah, rangefinder yeah. doesn't even work. Yeah. This would be great uh, in Genshin. <coughs> Sniper hilly trail from across the map. Well, that's basically what all users said. Yeah, but better. Oh uh, no, you can get three different, like. Yes, but travel time and arc. I mean, oh, hello there. Doesn't matter if you can watch up there. See, but to one shot them, you have to hit them. Yeah, um, you can attack them from far away enough that even if you don't one shot them, they just don't even attack you. They have no idea what you are you can to shoot them. Bully! It's difficult is to find a, a good angle for doing that, but then you know, it is technically I think you can do. Bully! Uh, what? Oh. Get down! Down! <coughs> Bad Colossus! He tried to get smart on you. I do not appreciate it getting smart on me. No gun! Yes! Yay, hey, never know. And here go reinforcements. That was quite a bit of his pain. Yes, that was in fact the pair reinforcements. Get the prime. Oh, the big boys. This is golden shiny. Shit, 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 shit. Get out of the Mako. Fight on foot. Mako taking too much damage. Yeah, it was that critical. Yeah. Oh, they're not gold and shiny. Nope. Maybe they just didn't have a patch on them. Halfway to driving these synthetic bastards out of this system. How do you know exactly how many get there? <laughs> Well, considering there's two outposts and we just wiped out this one. Oh, uh, that. Okay. But do we feel that's more just a quest? Or... Alright, I guess it's just the system, not the entire. Yeah. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the. Everybody survived every other planet, so yeah. Yeah. Also, a fun fact about the Geth and the way they work each. Uh, body is a platform, obviously, that can house multiple pro uh, Geth programs. The uh, how do I repair? I'm trying to remember how to repair. There we go. Uh, the more Geth are in one platform, the smarter it is, because they're networked AI. The bigger the platform, the more programs it can house. So Geth Primes are basically like Oh, they're literally large and in charge because they're bigger and smarter. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what am I doing? This button. They're literally the boss because, well, they're bigger. There's more of them. So are they like nanobots or just connecting to the from a distance? Uh, it's it's network 
AI. So one links to another, links to another, and each one increases. The, uh, and for everyone that's linked, they get a little smarter. So they get themselves are just programs. Yeah, they're AI. Okay. Lithium. <laughs> so it's entirely plausible that for every every time we kill a Geth, all we're doing is just slowing them down. Because they can just, just pull the program out of the body as it dies. Yeah. Hey! Right. Mitch, one of my truck's writings, finally! Well, only that you finished that. Story. Okay, okay, don't have to scan anything else. We're done. Sounds <laughs> A pre-garden terrestrial world with conditions similar to those on Earth millions of years ago. Hot, humid atmosphere is ma mainly composed of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. An increasing amount of the surface is covered by simple lichen and algae. Should no unexpected calamity occur, these tiny plants will change the atmosphere to an Earth-like nitrogen-oxygen mix over the next few millennia. Due to its pr potential for huge future habitability and sapient life, Caspian has been designated a sanctuary world by the Citadel Council. Landing is prohibited by law, and any disturbance of the fragile young ecosystem will result in harsh fines and imprisonment. At present, the planet is passing through the debris trail of a long period comet. Land. I'm your respecter, you don't give a fuck, right? Pretty much. I am the law! I'm bringing the other humans with you because you wanted to give the, uh, the council more reason to hate you. Pretty much. Uh, wrong button again. God dang it, I'm bad. Oh yeah, you did. I don't know. Hmm. Still kind of amuse how you pick the infiltrator class and haven't put a single point in infiltrator. Purely because of electronics. I will admit, well, having... Well, not electronics. Decryption. I will admit, though, having sabotage, very nice. What does Infiltrator actually do? What do you mean? Uh, this? Oh, this is the skill? Yeah. Increases damage by tech mines, reduce overheating on snipers and pistols. Hmm. Where's the geth? Where's the geth? Geth. 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 That's a... Big mountain. Can you do it? I don't want to try. Oh. Hey, don't disturb the fragile ecosystem. <coughs> Show the ecosystem who's boss. Climbing, climbing, climbing. So it, it seems to be in the middle of a meteor shower. Well, it did say that it was in, in the midst of passing through the debris trail field of a comet trail. Yeah, so... Are you sure that's not gonna mess with the ecosystem? I mean, it's entirely possible none of these are actually impacting. Yeah. Speaking of using render distance... Oh wow, they already see us. Are you with the Probably. That should cut down on the damage from rockets. Maybe. Wait, do you actually take damage from collisions like that? I guess so, because I'm I'm damaged right now. Yeah, I just noticed your wheel got red. So. Yeah, I'm confused. It's not that good of an idea to go over mountains like that. 
the other side is more strategic than I am, so... Yeah, but it's not like that. Uh, no, reinforcements. Can you shoot down the drop ship? Then I think it's not fast enough. That's quitter talk. Well, I guess it's not anything giving me. But it doesn't really take me the damage from the distance. I'm not gonna lie, the galaxy map theme, very catchy. Mm -hmm. It's uh, relaxing. <coughs> we have, do we actually have anything left to do besides just destroying these things? I mean, we still have a main quest mission and some other side quest stuff that hasn't popped up. And a DLC. Oh, okay. We we just went and zoomed out enough. Yeah. And the DLC mission. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Full ahead. It's past that mountain, isn't it? Probably. Binary star system. Really? Yes. It also makes the terrain pretty. It, this is your idea of pretty. Well, the coloration at least. It's an interesting shade of red. Yeah. We probably can kind of be kind of awkward to live here, but you know, for a vacation trip or something. I guess it was not past the mountain. That's a somewhat pleasant surprise. I don't think they appreciate my visit. Hmm. Do they? I'm quite certain, in fact. Hmm. What do what for them? Listen, I would have, I would, I would have called and said I was coming, but they don't answer the phone anyway. I don't know. Okay. Jumping just in case there's something yeah. still coming. You can't see shit. <laughs> I guess that's the main outpost. Yep. Yeah, we're getting like you know, I see that. I guess I shouldn't be even surprised. I'm getting funny though. Die! I guess the amount of money you get doesn't decrease, but the amount of experience you get does decrease or something. Mm -hmm. Bitch! Bitch! Down, boy! I said down! This one is 
quick to get back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. No gun for you. I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver is picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. I guess we should be taking Tally for that one. Mm, we don't have to, but we could. Also, wow, is that really the helmet Caden uses here? Huh. I guess I guess that's the uh, armor set. Probably. Though, well, I mean, in later games, that's basically become the biotic helmet. Mm -hmm. And I mean, wasn't this quest for what Dali wanted? I mean, she'd be interested in it for sure. Well, for what she, you know, that you know what I mean. That thing she needed to get. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, there's probably dialogue for her. Maybe. Level one heat hazard. Hmm. That's almost the end. Wow, not a cold hazard. What a refreshing change. Nice landing. Straight ahead! Onward! Turrets and a colossus, two colossi. Oh my. That's not so big. Down, boy. The lead angle with this cannon is a little awkward. It doesn't help that it has atrocious gun depression and elevation. They're not turrets, they're troopers and towers. Ow. Itch. I might have to repeat a retreat and let my shield recharge. Look up on the Ow! Hey, it's yep, time to go. No shit, Tally. What did she say? Hole compromised. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Don't really have enough Omni Gel to repair either. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, shitty uh, gun elevation's not helping. Or gun depression, whatever. You know, you that wasn't the idea, bad idea. Look at them just camping. Come on, peek me, I dare you. Turns out to kind of just Leroy Jenkins jump and try to land on the Colossus. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah! I don't think that works. Shut up. Yeah, at least it didn't hit you either. 
Much faster. It's kind of absurd, actually. Time to go. Your turret moves faster than it's. Than his. It's. Fuck you. Yeah, that's not to be useful. Well, at least the cannon seems to hit it. At least I think I'm hitting. This is safe things. Hey! Now hey. it's just you. Then we should be able to beat I'm kind of amused that they can't shoot at all, you know, unless they're, you know, fully straight and up. I think it's just has, has to do with, you know, the idea of being ragdolled. Yeah, but you know. You know, I got a bad feeling. No shit. Check everyone's gear. You know, you know what's sad? Trying to mm. find a uh, Corian armor, basically impossible. Oh. Plus one hundred shield. That will probably help her. What in was her, right? Yeah. Maybe? Okay. Having a better shotgun will probably also help. Yeah, you know, maybe. <sighs> The other thing that might help them. I don't have any other Omni tools, that's disappointing. That's a destroyer. Hopper. The, the name of the cover doesn't mean so much. Shit, 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 shit. I think your cover is gone. No shit, Sherlock. There goes Harris. Yeah, that's the first there. Yeah, <clears throat> As the last guest falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a Corian stands for a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus Veil. The transmitter shuts down. Hmm. Motherfucker! Clear. <laughs> yes, Garrus. Clear. How astute of you. <laughs> A solemn, serious moment, and then... BAM! God damn it! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the uh, meant, but... Oh. In the proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the guests since the banishment of the Koreans. Now, who could want that? Uh, I wonder. Do you have anything to say, Tali? And, and yeah, you kind of don't find out what that means. I didn't actually know what, what it meant until a little while ago, actually. The other day. Hmm. But I can't explain what it means without giving stuff away, so I'm, I'm okay. not. So, does Tali have anything to say now about it? Let's find out. Ready nope. Whenever you are. Huh. Well, I'm sure she will once you actually get back. Sulcrum. Mercenary base. Right. Sure. Mercenary. I can't even say that it used to be a mercenary base because it's full of Geth structure. Yeah. It was, considering it was made by the Geth, but... Shh, that's too complicated for them. 
All right, so before we finish this one out, let's go talk to Tally about all the stuff we just did. Let me through. Yeah. Do, 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 Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the micro? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It will take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. Anyway, you have to offer that. in return <laughs> what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Not yet, anyway. <coughs> yeah. Not until we, not until we have the option for anything more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hadn't actually talked to Garrison in a while. Commander, I. What can I do for you? Hmm. Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gas. We're getting close, Garrison. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find it. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried? Council might be protecting Sarah. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. You could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll Go depend on the situation. Way. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, right behind you, Commander. <laughs> yeah. Well, good point. Good point, good point. We can talk to everyone else later. Yeah. In the meantime, laters. Bye. Bye.